YouTube, Lenny Sly, RoadWarriorTC.com. So, I want to thank everybody for the last video that we did with uh, pressure testing the handle flexions. Um, you guys had some really great comments. I really appreciate it. You know, and surprisingly, the response that we got was overall positive. Um, just so you guys know, the video that Rokas posted when they when they um, critiqued the pressure testing Colt Degaishi video, a lot of people missed the boat on that. Um, even the BJJ guys were pretty respectful with their comments and whatnot. To let you guys know, I approached Rokas with that because I knew he was making the video and I asked him to post it, okay? So there was a lot of comments about, you know, on the martial art forms and whatnot about, you know, Rokas shouldn't be disrespecting Lenny, Rokas shouldn't be doing this. Rokas is my friend. I don't care what you guys think of him, okay? Rokas is my friend. Plain and simple, we did a video together, we plan on doing another video together. I told him to post the video. I asked him to do it. I insisted that he did it, okay? He didn't, you know, he was hesitant about doing it, um, but after I talked to him about it, I insisted. I'm like, dude, post it. I don't really care who critiques my stuff, okay? Um, there were some comments that I can address, but you know, I don't really give a shit. And having him post a video of them critiquing something that I did should pretty much go to show you that I don't care what people say about my videos. I don't care about, I mean, hey, if they want to critique the last video that I did on, on the pressure testing hand inflections, guys, go right ahead and do it. You have my, my full cooperation and, you know, my full blessing to do it. I don't give a shit, okay? I really don't. Um, some of the videos that we're going to be doing in the near future, including this one, is going to be not so much, I don't know, it, like, if I'm going to do a video like this one and then an, another Aikido video, whatever, it's going to be some more self-defense orientated videos opposed to Aikido. Um, the other thing too, there seems to be a lot of, uh, a lot of bickering going on. You know, the, you know, Joe Rogan started this whole riff with that, you know, that podcast with that Aikido guy and, you know, the MMA people kind of bash on Aikido a little bit, but you know what I'm really starting to see right now, which is actually fucking disgusting, is that the Aikido community amongst themselves are arguing and bickering about this shit, okay? Everybody should be supporting everybody. Who cares who's right? Who cares who's wrong? Who cares what works? Who cares what doesn't work? Okay, if we're all in Aikido, then we should all be supporting each other opposed to, you know, bashing on everyone. Who gives a shit? Seriously, who cares? But it's just interesting how the Aikido community, you guys in itself, you guys are all arguing amongst each other. Are you guys not all on the same team? What the fuck is going on with you guys? Grow the fuck up. Support one another. What the fuck are you guys doing? You're making it worse. Okay? The BJJ guys, whoever started, you know, whatever, they're probably laughing at us because we're the ones that are arguing now amongst each other and they're the ones that started. They're sitting back watching us bicker at each other about fucking techniques. Who cares? But you guys are all fucking ass hurt about everything. Who gives a shit? Don't you guys have better things to do with your life than bicker and bitch and argue amongst each other? Especially about a martial art that we all love? Why? What's the point of that? You know? Who cares? Seriously. Who gives a shit? So, that's my rant. Okay? This video is going to be on top five choke defenses using common sense. Okay? Not Aikido, not Krav Maga, not Sistema, not Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, none of that shit. This is common sense. Okay? So you're not looking for technique per se from like whatever martial art that you're doing. It's just common sense how to get out of certain chokes. So I got Rod here with me today and I got Nick here with me today, okay? And I'm gonna show you some simple, very easy and effective ways to get out of certain choke holds. So I'm gonna basically do like how I did the last video where I'm gonna demonstrate and then these guys are gonna do it and I'm gonna instruct and uh, give them some pointers out. So the first video, the first choking technique is a two-handed choke, two-handed frontal choke. So Rod's gonna grab me. So as this happens and he grabs, you can't strike down, you can't strike up. If they're really trying to strangle you, this is gonna be hard to try to break this. You gotta be really super strong to do it. Now granted, if he does that, you can come in and you can eye gouge, you can, you know, you 
can do a palm strike to the ear, whatever. But if you notice that when he chokes, okay, there's nothing back here. So you can virtually, you can push him off. Don't give it to me, dude, squeeze. You can push him off if you have enough strength to get out of that. Then move, leg sweep, whatever. But what I'm gonna show you right now is, because there's nothing here stopping you from backing up or him losing his grip, use your shoulder, raise up and just simply turn. And you're gonna break the grip. One more time. So he grabs, just simply turn. That time I raised my arm up, almost kind of like an Ukanagashi defense, where you can just grab, use your shoulder and just do that to get him off, okay? So Nick, you're gonna grab, grab Rod. So go ahead. So as that happens, just turn your shoulder. You gotta turn, you gotta do basic. I'm talking about not using Nike, you got a 10 con, so you gotta turn. Go ahead, grab him. Let him grab you, dude, get the choke. Squeeze him, squeeze him. Boom, good. One more time. Good. See how simple and easy that is? You choke him pretty hard? Yeah. Okay, now squeeze the shit out of him. Choke him seriously. It works, there you go. Common sense, simple. Very easy to do. Second choke that we're doing is side head control. So somebody gets you in a side headlock. At this point, usually you're gonna get punched in the face. Relax, relax, relax. Right here, he's gonna start punching in the face. So if you're waiting to do something, you're gonna start getting tattooed. So the second that he grabs you and puts you in side head control, strike the groin. You can easily, work. I'm gonna hit the thigh instead of his groin, so grab, grab. So squeeze, strike the groin, come over the top of the face. Grab him there, you can hammer fist strike to his belly, whatever. You okay? Hey. <laughs> so a little bit slower. So as he grabs, you can strike this, go over the top with your arm over his shoulder, get right underneath his nose, lift that up. At that point, you can just throw him over if you had to. So hold on strong, real strong, real squeeze, 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 squeeze. Don't let go, don't let go. <laughs> See, now I can strike the groin if I wanted, and now I can lock him up at that point and get this and start hammer fisting, okay? So you have options there. Okay, so let's go. So side head control on Nick. So as he does that, so from there, he can strike the groin. Okay, come up over the top, grab the face, pull him over, and he can strike again. Okay, pretty simple. Squeeze him harder. Real hard now. Squeeze him harder. Real hard. Real hard. That's very simple and effective. Did that seem like it worked? Okay, because that pretty much sucks, right? Yeah. So when you're squeezing on a chokehold, you gotta do it like you mean it. So one more time, squeeze him until his fucking head pops off. Don't let go. Only let go, well don't let go, but get him to release. So whatever you do, do not let go. Go ahead. Okay, then at that point he can strike him, he can stop on his head, whatever. The next technique is a guillotine choke. Now what I want to point out real quickly that is, this is not sport fighting. It doesn't matter if the chokes are being done, tech book, textbook form from BJJ, Krav Maga, whatever. It doesn't matter. This is not about sport fighting. This is just five simple choke holds that you can get out of with using common sense. If you had to use technique from BJJ, Krav Maga, Sistema, whatever, you're probably going to see different application. You can't groin strike in MMA, at least not in sport fighting. Actual, you know, competition, you can't strike. But on the street that you can. And most of us have been hitting the nuts at one point or another in our life, whether it's accidental or, you know, some point. Any one of us, and I'm sure all you guys can sit there and agree with me, is that you even get grazed down there you feel like you're gonna fucking cough up a lung as you're feeling like you're gonna barf. So you have to take that into perspective. If that strike really makes full contact in the groin, that's gonna cause some discomfort and some pain. And more than likely, they're gonna release. And that's the main thing. If for whatever reason he has iron nuts and he doesn't release, then that's where other things come into play. The next technique that we're doing is, um, is the guillotine choke. So let's go from this angle here. So he puts me in the guillotine choke and he pulls up, so as he straightens up, he's gonna get it on there. And he's squeeze. I should be good. I shouldn't be able to talk if this is applied, applied correctly or applied with enough pressure to where it cuts off my air to where I can't speak. So when you hear people say, 
being choked, especially in law enforcement. I can't breathe, I can't breathe. If you can hear them say, I can't breathe, they're not being choked. If you're actually being choked, you can't talk, or you at least can't talk clearly. And I've seen a, in a plethora of law enforcement videos of people being choked on the street by cops, and they're going, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. Can't breathe, if you can't breathe, you can't speak. That's common sense. Okay, if you don't believe me, have your friend choke you, then have you try to say a sentence, I mean a serious choke, you won't be able to talk clearly. You'll be struggling with that. So as he applies this, squeeze. No, keep it on, keep it on. So from here, squeeze, squeeze hard, 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 squeeze up, squeeze up. There, I gotta figure out, okay? I gotta figure out how to get out of this. Common sense, boom. Look at where my hands are at. I can strike him right in the groin, extremely easy, boom. Grab his hamstring, squeeze, pin, you know, skin pinch, whatever. I can grab him, I can punch him, squeeze. So from there, boom, I can move into that, and I can actually, if I can break that grip, I can actually bring this up to the point where if I can get out of it, I can elbow strike, move out of this, get here, strike the face. Then I can lock this up and take him down to the ground. Okay, so one more time. So from this angle, from here, from here, he squeezes. You gotta get, get the arm around my neck more. Good, now apply. Good. Again. Again. Good, good. That point I strike the groin. Boom. Like I said, we're gonna use the inner part of the thigh. Like yeah. that. Then I can come over and I can actually reverse this and get in that clinic on that. Get him to the point where I move out. Then I can apply whatever I wanted. Knee strike. Okay? Guillotine on Nick. So squeeze tight. Lift up, lift up. Don't struggle. Here, get to the point of this. Let go, let go. When you get this, think of, instead of trying to do that, think of that. But you gotta squeeze this tight in the lift. So you wanna get you, okay? Oh, Nick's bleeding. <laughs> we had a feeling that was gonna end up happening. Okay, so Nick won't be demonstrating this one. So as this happens, strike at that point, then you can move. Then you can get out of this. Move, take him down, knee strike the face, bring him down to the ground, whatever you want to do. Okay? So, since Nick is uh, having his period right now, <laughs> we're gonna move on to the next one. So that was what, four? So the last video, Nick, shut the bathroom door. Sorry guys. The last one that we're gonna do is a single hand choke against the wall. So he grabs me, shoves me up against the wall. At that point, he's gonna punch me. Okay, he slams something against the wall, here comes a punch. So that you can pretty much see this technique used in a lot of different scenarios. Unfortunately, um, this probably happens a lot in domestic batteries. So women, if you're watching this video, this might be a good technique for you to know. If your significant other that has uh, issues decides to slam me against the wall and slap you or, or whatever the case is, and the same thing for guys, if you're being shoved up against the wall, a punch is gonna follow very quickly, so you have to move fast. So slowly, as he grabs, pushes up against the wall, if he's holding me there, and if he's threatening me with this, squeeze. If you're trying to get this done, it's going to be hard to get, get this off because you're up against the wall and he's putting a lot of pressure straight forward. Good. So you have to figure out how you can do this. Keep it there. Keep it there. Raise your arm up and turn <coughs> right into the wall. You're going to lock him out at that point, grab his hair, strike, whatever. Elbow strike to the head, strike to the kidneys. Other things that you can do is when that happens, common sense, strike the groin. <laughs> Grab that hand, strike the groin. Now you can actually strike the back of the elbow, you can strike his face, whatever the case is. This is going to be probably a little bit easier to break away from that, to where you can actually move into this and strike, throw him down the ground, whatever you need to do to get him off you. So a little bit stronger now. You can punch him right in the ribs at that point, take him down, step on him, have him pinned up, even come up behind him yourself and get into a single choke, kick out his leg. Take them down to the ground at that point. Okay, that one's a little bit difficult to do because you got to you got to incorporate a lot more striking aspects. Okay, 
One thing that I like to do is when this happens, boom, yeah. move inside at that point and hit and then turn. Then from there, you can start knee striking, take out his leg, take him down to the ground, lock him up, start just belting on his ribs. You okay? So, oh, it's nice and warm in here today. Okay, so that was top five chokes, defense gets chokes using common sense. There's a lot more shit that I can show you with that. You know, bonus technique, side head control, or actually, we didn't do rear naked choke, that was only four. That's right, it was only four. Sorry, we got one more. So the rear naked choke aspect of this, remember, it doesn't matter if it's 100% applied like from a BJJ perspective, it's the fact of getting into rear naked choke. So as he applies the rear naked choke, and he locks this up, the second this happens, you gotta break this down. You gotta pull his arm down to avoid this. If you can see where you're going, Lift your leg up, strike the groin, elbow strike. You can lift up and throw. Again. You can move to the outside. Grab his legs, dump him down the ground and strike him. Okay, then you can lock this up if you want it. Really simple. Okay. If he kicks out the back of your leg while the rear naked choke happens, you're in trouble. Somebody jumps on you for a rear naked choke and you wait you're in trouble, okay? This is where I can use some help right now with the BJJ community. What is the time frame of when a rear naked choke gets slapped on you correctly or whatever? What is it, three to five seconds before you're out cold? Something along the line, that's a rule of thumb. Three to five, three to eight seconds, depending on how it's applied, right? So you can be out cold in seconds. So time is of essence. If you wait, you're gonna be taking a nap. So the second that choke is applied, you have to adjust, you have to take action. If you wait, you're done. Okay, so one more time. One, okay. So as he applies, right away, boom, grab, boom, yeah. strike. See then, if you get to the inside, you okay? I can, I can break his posture this way. He's gonna eventually release. Even if he doesn't release, okay, and I strike and he doesn't release, as long as I'm pulling this off my neck, I'm going to be somewhat okay. At that point, you can just move right down this and apply this and get on the ground and start hammer fisting. And if you notice, I'm kneeling on his arm. It's something I just fell into. So with all my weight on that, I can start striking. Okay? You okay? One more time. Squeeze, squeeze. Good, good. Right down, sits nice, good, good. See how fast it, that works? Even if it's not done correctly, I'm feeling that. That sucks. It works. Last one. So right away, grab, strike, strike. From there, you can move to the outside of this. See, so if you can break this grip and you can move to the outside, then you can use your body to don't let go. Whatever you do, don't let go. You just move your body and move to the side. See, then from there, you have something. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff you can do. These are basic ideas common sense wise to get out of it. That's it. So, thank you Rod. <laughs> Nick's bleeding. Thank you Nick. Um, again, top five choke defenses using simple common sense. No particular martial art required. Um, like, subscribe, share the video. Check out our website at roguewarriorstc.com and uh, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next video.